Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to see everybody again. This is a fun collaboration that I'm doing with two of my sweetest friends. It's called Bells and Smells. So I'm just doing bells, Sarah's doing the smells, and Connie's doing bells and smells. And I want to go to Sarah's house. I am Jackie Burns Creations, Connie's Creative Creations, and Sarah, can Sarah DIY. So here's my project number one. I've had this shadow box for probably about eight years, if not longer. And I have always wanted to do this. I saw it on Pinterest years ago, and I always wanted to do it. And I even ordered the words uh, from somebody online. It was before everybody had crickets, before crickets were really affordable. At the time, they were really, really, really expensive. And uh, I don't know where I put the words. Never really got it together. And uh, so I thought, oh, this is a perfect time to finally do my round to it. I have so many round to it, guys. Oh, that's terrible. But uh, anyway, so I cut this off on my Cricut. And I put that red paper back there. I forgot to film it. Filled it up with all kinds of bells, silver, red gold. I can't remember if I got any green ones in there. Some little ones, big ones, except the big ones kind of overshadow the little ones. But I can just open it up and take them out. And this paper I think I got from Target a long time ago, or it's Dollar Tree glitter paper. It was not coming off. It was not transferring. I tried and I tried and I tried. I think the Cricut materials and I have a love-hate relationship. Everybody always looks so easy when they're doing it. Not me. So... Enjoy the music for a minute while I struggle. So I finally said, oh, to heck with it, and just decided to put it on by hand. I thought these letters are big enough, I can do it. Well, when I went to put the A on and had it at the bottom, it didn't match up with the W very good, so I had to pick that one back off and try to line it up, and I tried to make them straight and even as best as I could. It was a job. See, us professional crafters even have troubles. And sometimes it's just trial and error. Sometimes we get an idea in our head and it just doesn't quite work, so we're flexible and we try to change it as best as we can. So I'm thinking, well, maybe the smaller letters will work. Not. Okay, I'm going to deal with the bigger letters again. I don't know, is there a super stick transfer paper? So there you can see I finally got it all on. So then I'm looking at the, all the, and it doesn't show up quite as well, so I might change that. 
Okay, project number two. Now these are some uh, other cutouts that I got from a place called Retro Cafe Art. And she just gets really neat vintage looking things. And you can order it online and then print it out yourself. And that's what I did. Or you, she can she can send it to you too in a variety of papers. She has a parchment paper, a glossy paper, just a regular cardstock. Oh my gosh, she's got yeah all kinds of papers. So I thought this was cute with the bells on it. And the candles, of course, came from Dollar Tree. Love my cutter. I think I got this cutter. I've had this a long time, too. I think I got this cutter on Amazon. I like the, the little guillotine cutter. So I'm just measuring down from the top, trying to decide where the middle is. And I thought at first I measured from the candle and then I thought, eh, better make it from the top because the candles probably aren't the same length. And I'm just trying to find the middle there. And there, I like to be a little precise so it doesn't look too skiddly and wampus and be off kilter too bad. Now here's my favorite, my Mod Podge. And I am a pla uh, plaid ambassador. Love my plaid. In fact, I think all three of us are. We didn't have to sign anything to plaid. We just said, you know, how much we liked it. And we just kind of, they give us free stuff and we promote it and I'm happy to. I don't think I could promote something I didn't like. But Every day, I think, there's hardly any time I don't use some sort of plaid project in my crafting. Just hold it in place for a minute, or you could always put a couple of rubber bands around it to hold it down. And I'm trying to decide which one would look better. Is these little cutouts have bells on them too. It's just a bell collab. <laughs> I'm so funny. I know that's why you guys come see me. It's my hilarity. I remember on MASH, Father Mulcahy one time went, Oh, jocularity, jocularity. I always thought that was the funniest word. And just putting a little twine at the top here. a good tie with a knot. Because I got these little tiny beads at Target. So this is a real mixture of products. 
Sometimes it's just a Dollar Tree and other times it is a mix. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little Mod Podge on the edge to let it dry and stiffen up. Uh, hot glue works really well with that too. I know a lot of people use tape. Okay, and now slide my little beads on there. Just giving them a little variety of look. Oh, see, don't those look cute? They'd make good neighbor presents or good friend presents. And it didn't even cost me that much. Okay, now project number three. I got those bells at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some iron orchid design transfers on them. I have these stamps but I didn't know how well it'd be easy to stamp. So I just received these transfers recently and uh, I love using those transfers. Stamps are okay but Oh, transfers are wonderful. So I'm trying to decide which ones to use. And I've decided the top two. These transfers are cool. They came in a black, a white, and a blue. So I can't wait to paint something dark and use the white. And like I say, I have the stamps, exactly these stamps. And I gave some to a good friend, and we're loving them. So I did the first one. I thought I had it on record, and I didn't. Mm. But I learned a couple of things just to make some little snips around the edges so it lays down just a little better. In the background, you can see the other one. And if you haven't figured out, I love vintage. And I really love vintage Christmas. I love the old-fashioned Santas. Oh, I just love everything about it. So they come with these uh, real heavy-duty plastic sticks. Other transfers come with wooden sticks, and I, I like these better. I've used other transfers, and they're okay, but I just love the iron orchid designs. Yeah, they're not cheap, but boy, they sure are amazing. So what you do is you just rub it until you think it's lifted up, and you can lift it up a little bit and see. You can see spots where I go back, and you just lay it back down and rub it, and it applies. Now, I've noticed with these transfers are just amazing compared to Dollar Tree transfers, but I have noticed that if you put transfers on a more slippery-like surface, or you cover it with Mod Podge first and let it dry, they are much easier to put on. I remember I used that one little wreath one, or I don't know, I used one from Dollar Tree last spring. 
Oh my Lord, it took me twice as long as this to get just one little thing on. Now I'm just going over it and burnishing it and making it lay down well. And even though these aren't necessarily Christmas, they could be. They just look so vintage. Now I'm going over the top with some Mod Podge. Oh, I should have went over the top with the Sparkle Mod Podge. I might go back and do that. That might be really pretty. Okay, a friend gave me this bow dabber about three years ago. And I've never really used it before. And my hands, the arthritis, and the trigger fingers are really bothering me. So I thought, well, I'll try this. And these two bows came with it. It says it has a video, but I don't know where the video is. But it did show on the box how to do it. So what you do is you just put your ribbon in this little thing. You put your tie or wire. Um, I used a glittery pipe cleaner. And you pull it out and you twist it all together. First time I tried it, it didn't come out. So I tore it apart and tried it again. This time it came out. I used a thinner ribbon on top that just ugh, didn't work. Maybe if I made it small, but but I guess the more you put in it, the bigger, fluffier bow you get. This uh, red ribbon is kind of plasticky almost. I mean, it looks neat with the pattern on it, but it was kind of weird. So I'll try some good wired ribbon to see how it turns out. So if you've ever wanted to think about the Bow Dabra, I have no idea what they cost or where you even get them. Probably could get it on Amazon. But this friend of mine, she thrifted a lot and she's lived at my house for about eight months and she, she gave me a lot of things and some things I bought from her too. But when it came to crafting stuff, I took anything she'd want to give me. So it's looking a little fluffier. And so I'm putting some of the pipe cleaner through here. I didn't want them quite the same height. I wanted one up a little higher. So I was trying to engineer this and figure out how to do this. I'm not quite the engineer, but yeah, we tried it. So I tied some of this ribbon around here and I'm going to hook it on the glittery pipe cleaner. made a hanger on it and I thought oh it needs some greenery on it so I took a couple of the or I took actually one of the green I don't know that green pipe cleaner that's kind of like pine and I cut it in half and I shoved it in the hole in the top so then I took a piece of the leaf off the poinsettia and glued it to it and now I'm going down the poinsettia. 
I'm still waiting to hear from you guys. Is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I always used to say poinsettia, and then somebody corrected me, so. Guess it's like potato and potato. You say potato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say tomato. It's such a cute old song. Oh, probably get in trouble with YouTube for singing that. And I want everybody to go over and find Crafted with Corey's DIY. You go over and find her new channel. YouTube's not doing right by her. Okay, so here it is. I uh, hope you like it, and I'm so glad you came to see me. And like I say, go find Corey's new channel and subscribe. And go watch Connie and Sarah. And I hope you enjoy our bells and smells. Bye for now.